our farm radio received the funding from iCare Foundation that was looking at promoting agricultural practices that are regenerative. We have been working with the Ministry of Agriculture who took us to the district, uh, dis district agricultural offices or district production offices. And as a hub we have about 30 or 14 members and the composition also includes the civil society organization representative as well as farmers representatives both male and female and then also the the broadcasters as well we normally sit together we generate um, content to ensure that whatever the experts come to share on the radio is something that can be understood very well by the farmers and so in these episodes we've had we've had farmers actually also uh, give their input. My role was to ensure that uh, the programs we are running or the activities we are undertaking in the hub are really gender inclusive or they are gender sensitive. I learned a lot of lessons. They taught us how to manage cassava or how to grow them and how to maintain soil fertility. I've been maintaining my soil fertility by slicing grass. You dry, you spread it, it ferment there. When I'm planting that time, I put some crops like uh, which have nutrients. So those ones, they also add more soil fertility. The knowledge has, has helped me to employ women and the men. So it has made us to increase our capacity of production. I used to dig about 10, 15 acres. Right now I'm over 40 acres. Bemba ma ngazu radio, radio purchase ya, kini bako la kyo pidi lewo, bamo ji bikon ki, yambu ma, maku kipi ya, wa kipi ya. Being a district neighboring other, 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 other two countries, DRC and Southern Sudan, we have listeners across the borders. It has helped us to reach a number of farmers, which the extensive number of workers will not reach in time, based on logistical issues and also based on their numbers. At least with this radio program, we can reach so many farmers within one hour. We are able to bring on board four clients just because of the impact of Green Leaf magazine program. Through Oliza, you are able to get the voice of that farmer who has given his uh, experience about uh, the topic that you're handling and you're able to edit very well and play it and the person listens and other farmers actually listen and then when you're saying next time you should participate in Uliza, everyone wants to ensure that they have their say. One thing about Uliza is it is very simple for farmers to interact with. on. You're given numbers which you beep after which you will be called back. This is something which is very easy because you don't use air time for you to get information. You are called back. Uh, the questions that have been set for you to respond on, they are very easy, they are direct to you. You can understand them easily because they're in your own language. So you'll find that farmers love reaching out to extension officers through Uliza. After every radio program, we do have a, a, an evaluation session to see what went well, what did not go well, and what needs to be brought on or what needs to be taken off.